Hello, Sunday School people. Welcome to Sunday School Fun. Let's learn about the Psalms. The Psalms are a book in the Bible. That's right, the Bible. The Psalms are old. They have served more purposes and served people of more faith than any other Bible book. Psalms is one of the most shared books on social media. Let's learn some of the Psalms. Psalms help us remember God's love and protection throughout our lives. Amen. Do you want to be in the center of God's will? Well, then go to the center of his word. Psalm 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. How can we use this in our daily life? Ask yourself, am I putting my trust in God and his will, or am I following my own way? Will my action bring me closer to God or farther away from God? Let's practice. Being patient. Practice is how we get good at something, like art or sports or spelling or even math. So let's say you want a cell phone real bad, but your parents say you are too young. All your friends have one and you want one. In one year on your birthday, you will get one, but you want it now. What does God say? In the 10 commandments, it says we are to honor our father and mother. You have a choice. You can wait patiently or bug your parents every day for one year. What does God want us to do? God wants us to listen to our mom and dad. When you want to ask for the phone, instead, pray to God. You can tell God how you feel and how bad you want the phone. You can even pray Psalm 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Amen. Yes, waiting is a learned skill. It is part of our faith. In these times when everything from movies to information can be gotten in a split second on the internet, we need to take extra steps to learn patience. We expect everything immediately, food, rewards, anything we want. One of the things Psalms can teach us is patience. Nearly everyone important in our Bible history has had to wait on God. Read super important peeps in the Bible that waited and waited. Number one, Moses was 80 years old before he led the Exodus from Egypt. Number two, Abraham was over 90 before God delivered him a promised child. Abraham waited decades for that baby. And number three, Jesus, son of God, the king of kings, had to live on planet Earth for 30 years before he could perform a single miracle. Psalm 46 says this, Be still and know that I am God. Have you ever had to wait for an answer to a prayer? Here's an even harder question. Have you ever gotten impatient while waiting and waiting and sort of felt in your heart the Lord telling you, Be still, child. Be patient. Believe in me. Let's make a prayer jar or prayer box. And this will hopefully help with our patience too. In it, we will put all the things we have prayed for and for which we haven't yet received answers to our prayers. We will also put in there things we want to pray for. When we are finished, let's shake it every day to let God know we trust him. We are waiting patiently, and we know that he is God. Yes, amen. Now I need you to go get some supplies to make our prayer jar or prayer box. <clears throat> First of all, you need to get a jar or a box from the recycling bin, 
And if it's a jar, make sure you clean it out. And then you need paper and crayons and glue or tape will work and scissors. So first we cut our piece of paper so it will fit on our jar or our box. And then we write on that piece of paper, Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. And then you can decorate the paper some more. And then you use your glue or tape to attach it to your box or your jar. And then you cut some more pieces of paper into squares to write your prayers on. And then write your prayers that you haven't received yet on those pieces of paper. And then put them in the box. Then every day, take a picture. I mean, every day, shake your jar or your box to let, let God know that you trust him and you are waiting patiently and you know that he is God. Yes, amen. And then take a picture of your jar or box and you can email it or to pastor at driftlessministry.org or message it to New Hope and Retreat United Methodist Churches on Facebook. Awesome. You Sunday school people are so great. Learning patience takes patience. And we're not even doctors. Ha ha. Okay, here we go. Guess what time it is? You got it, it's prayer time. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us when we're patient. Thank you for loving us when we're not patient. Thank you for loving us no matter what we do. And all God's children said, Amen. Now remember to send your prayer requests or praises, which are positive prayer requests, again, to pastor at driftlessministry.org or to New Hope and Retreat United Methodist Churches on Facebook. Awesome. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Hey, would you like an activity pack? Well, we'd love to send you one. Just send your address, again, to pastor at driftlessministry.org or United, New Hope and Retreat United Methodist Churches on Facebook. Awesome. And remember to ask mom and dad if you can check out. We have two bonus songs this week. And I think you'll really love them. They are in the comments on Facebook. And remember, God loves you.